Hey guys, crack open a drink because we are here in the new era of the Blue Podcast. We're in a studio. It's me and Tom. How you doing, mate? I'm doing very well, mate. I'm very excited to be in the studio. Uh, it is lovely in here, by the way. Very nice. We shout have, out, shout out to Cube. Yeah, shout out to Cube. We have a lovely positioned plant just we do. inside here. Aesthetics. Exactly. <laughs> right, you're hitting nail on the head there. All right. So yeah, this is, I guess, yeah, our first podcast in the studio, the new era, episode one of the new era of the Blue Podcast, and we thought, what better way to kick us off than to just get to know Tom Tom, uh, <laughs> Mac is a Tom. Uh, why not? But. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a new thing we're going to do every uh, podcast, uh, even if we have guests. Just an icebreaker question. Me and Tom ask five questions. If the other person gets it wrong, then they have a big gulp of whatever the hell they're drinking. All right. What, I'll ki- uh, what are you drinking? I'm, dr- uh, I'm drinking a Doomba in a lovely glass that Tom provided. And what are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking Corona because I'm not a 45-year-old man. Yeah, I've got yeah, <laughs> I've got a beer Moretti next as well because I mean we're gonna have to spoilers ahead. Someone, someone. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you check out our Instagram at the Blue Podcast One, every Sunday we do ask for any questions for, um, I guess future episodes. And someone has asked not a question but a request, but we'll talk about that later. Yes. Yeah. All right. Question one for me. Uh, so we're doing these about ourselves. I'm asking Tom about me. Tom's asking me himself uh where did i always go on a wednesday night at swansea university jack murphy's wrong what wrong every night without fail i'd go to Grif- griffin because one pound jager bombs one pound vodka uh, monster or red bull whatever they had in stock and then i'd black out fun fact all right so where are you going instead of jack murphy's then wherever the night took me okay if i can't remember i went to jack murphy's did i ever go did you ever go? Oh, okay, yeah, true. This is also true. This is very true. So you did that. Not that I'm uh, really putting myself in a good light, though. Oh, I think it's all right, mate. Yeah. I mean, we are drinking right now, so we are. What is it? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two exactly. o'clock after, after the Saturday England afternoon. game. After the England game. Crikey. Anyway, um, I'll keep it beer themed. Yeah. Um, so, what is my favourite lager? Your favourite lager? I mean, I would say Corona because you're drinking it, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna go. What were you drinking when we first met? I know I was on the Moretti. I'm gonna go Moretti as well. Do you know what? I'll, I'll actually give you that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, I'll go Moretti. Yes. I'll go Moretti. I'll give that. I'll, I'll drink for this. Yeah. Big gulp, mate. Big gulp. Actually, yeah, you've definitely done the big gulp for my question. You got it wrong. That was the big gulp. No, that wasn't a big enough gulp. Excuse me. We we are serious drinkers Fine. here on the another podcast. Half yeah, another another big one. Wait, that's better. That's better. That's better. Those two together. Okay, okay, I think. that's fine. That's fine. All right. Your turn. Yeah, my turn. All right, question two. What was the name of my first in-person podcast I recorded on the Maccas channel? Was it A, the Muggy Maccas podcast? Was it B, Maccas Monday podcasts? Or was it C, the best Maccas podcast? B, Maccas Monday. Wrong. It was the Muggy Maccas podcast. (laughs) What (laughs) the name that is? The Muggy Maccas? Yeah, because I had my mates from school on it, and it was literally just a podcast where they abused me for it. Like an hour and a half. You did do Macca's Mondays, though, didn't you? I did used to do Macca's Mondays, yes. What did you do on Macca's Mondays? Well, Macca's Mondays just actually come back. They are back. Uh, the Macca's channel is back after two year hiatus. Um, the first video back should be. If it, I don't know if it's out by the time this is out, it, but it might be. It might be out. It might be out um, it might if be I get out. everything sorted. It is cut down, but there's a lot more to do. Um, great video, by the way. Tom's involved. Oh, He's a menace. Tom's it. a menace in that video. Uh, don't, good don't watch the video for me. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely. Watch the video for everybody else in it. I think that's... I think that's, <laughs> the, that's Don't watch it, but I, you have to. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Definitely. All right. All right, next one. Um, what sport did I play growing up? Cricket. No, you can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I played tennis growing up. Mm. Yeah. I did not know about this. Yeah, I played national tennis growing up. National tennis? Yeah. Fuck off. How, oh, we must have had this conversation at some point. Probably, but we were probably steaming. This is also true. Actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did. I did play cricket as well, but that was that was more secondary school. Ah, yeah. that's quite cool. It's, it's got nice a good fight. forehand or backhand. Which one's your strength? Come on, mate. Let's not be a both of my strength. <laughs> 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 yeah, probably. Uh, probably the forehand. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's forehand's better. Everyone's forehand's better. I always do the backhand slice. Do you know what I mean? Oh, the technical terms. The technical coming terms out now. coming out now. Until he plays tennis. I used to play tennis. To be fair. Did you really? Not, pr- not properly, but like, I'd always play my mate Theo, who did play tennis. Yeah. And I'd beat him, and he'd get really pissed off. Okay, we need to have a game at some point then. 
Yeah, for sure. For it sure. It would be rude not to now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Go on, nice All right. Next question. What is my middle name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just been go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> What's your middle name? TBP. I don't... Uh, yeah, it's actually middle name is the Blue Podcast. No, it's not. It's not. Um, it is Francis. 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 With an E or an I? F R A N C I S. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Did not know that at all. No, it's it's a it's a weird middle name. Yeah. Unusual one. Yeah. Well, it's because of my like great uncle or grand uncle or something, Frank. Apparently, I mean, that's yeah. as good a reason as any, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Apparently, he's a nice guy. <laughs> apparently, apparently yeah. <laughs> never had the pleasure. <laughs> no, didn't have the pleasure, but apparently, nice guy. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do a cop out and ask okay. what my middle name is. I'm okay. not, not going to do that. Okay. Um, what is the name of the first purple show that I appeared in? My first ever. I know on the this. Podcast. It was Coutinho versus. Uh, are we, how 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 technically are we getting here? Was it was it? Oh, who was T- it tell me what you think it is. Tell me what you think no, who was it against. There was because the clip banged as well. Oh, it, yeah. Well, no, the Brennan Johnson part banged. No, Br- Brayton Diaz. Brayton Diaz. Sorry, not Brennan. He Johnson. can't keep Brennan Johnson out of his no, mouth. Sorry. I mean, yeah. This may be my fault. I mean, Wales did lose quite bad. They did Iran. lose. This. We know a couple of people. There is a Wel- there is a Welsh us. person behind the camera who just. <laughs> <laughs> our produce our producers a uh, big Wales fan sat in the back. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it's Coutinho versus Grealish. Grealish versus Coutinho. The title was Coutinho or Grealish. Oh come, okay, I'll drink anyway because it's right. semantics, but you can drink for it. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was taking two gulps, you're doing another one for that. Have you seen how much more? Okay, hold up. You've- Point to the camera. I started with more though. Let's do, let's, let's do one together. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Changing the rules a little bit there. All right. All right. Next question, mate. Next question. Who did Chelsea play in my first game at Stamford Bridge? Bro, you got like a one in 50. <laughs> Quite literally, yeah. No, was, it's probably like one in 20. I think I was six years old. Premier League? Yeah. Fulham. Not far off. Bolton. <laughs> Bolton. Bolton. We went 1 0 down. Nice big gulp. That's a nice big gulp. That's a sip, man. That's a sip. That's a sip. My mouth is full, my friend. That is a sip. <laughs> I've seen you drink. Um, yeah, it was Bolton. We were 1 0 down at half time. And then we finished 5 1. They got someone sent off in the second half. It was a phenomenal was? game. Huh? Do you remember who it was? I don't, but someone that. I know it's like El Actually, or something. there was someone that my dad knows who weirdly played for Bolton at the time. Genuinely, yeah, it was really weird. That's quite cool. You have to let me know after. So that yeah, was, I can't. Yeah. I, I, I won't spoil it now, just because. Yeah. Anyway, well, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't remember. All right. Next question. Um, okay, I'm throwing you kind of a bone here, but yep. what? Uh, I mean, for the benefit of the Blue Podcast viewers, what football team do I support? If you check out the Purple Show every Friday, there's a plug right there. Yeah, good, good plug. Uh, it is Nottingham Forest. That is correct. It's yes. Nottingham Forest. That's why I had to mention Brendan Johnson. You had to, yeah. yeah. I mean, if if Brendan Johnson, if I don't go five minutes without hearing the words Brendan Johnson, then something's going very badly wrong. He's not wrong. Or Steve Cooper. Steve Cooper. Either yeah. or. You like Welsh people, don't you? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you may, maybe a stretch there. Brendan Johnson might be the most English Welsh, Welsh person you've ever met, but yeah. <laughs> Brendan, <laughs> Brendan Johnson. Brendan Johnson. Has All to right. Question five for me. Why did I stop playing rugby? For preference, I played rugby my entire life until I went to university. Can I tell the story you told me about the freshers? Go on. I don't think I can, though. Uh, is it about being a rugby fresher? Yeah. Uh, that's not the reason I stopped. That's not the reason you stopped? No, no, no. no. I, did rug- I did rugby... Ini- uh, no, no, I stopped before initiation, but that's not the reason I stopped. But surely that's got to be one of the reasons you stopped. No. I quite. I mean, I was, I was a rugby you fresher that. than a football fresher. Okay, the story I'm on about is where they lined you up against the wall, and you know that's the story not going. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be, that's that's not be, be talked about, yeah, right? That's not going to be talked about. Okay, um, okay. So it's not that. No, it's not that. Okay. Surprisingly, you stopped rugby um, because you weren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. That's no. That's not. That's not correct. That is. Not <laughs> I'm going to drink. Tell me what it was. Uh, so it was within my last year and a half of rugby. I got. Two concussions, then knocked out with a concussion, then popped out my shoulder. That is a lot of injuries in yeah. one go. Yeah. In a year and a half. What position do you play? I was fly half. Yeah, me too. I played at um I played at uh for a club when I was at school. Yeah. I played for the best team in Surrey, Cobham. Oh, but I was a winger for them. 
I play for Ilkeston, mate, so yeah. I mean, you can't. But, uh, no, I mean, my school rugby team was very, very good. I didn't start all the time, but it was, it was very good. We got mm. to the NatWest Cup um, quarterfinals. We played Brighton College. I remember that. I was a sub, but um, they played against. Oh, what's, who's our number 10 right now? For England? Yeah. Mark, Mark, Mark Smith. Smith yeah, yeah, we played against him. Really? Yeah. Fun fact, fun that's, fact. That's a good claim to fame, actually. Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't oh, play against him. Wait, hang on. Oh, my God. I remember we have talked about rugby before. Yeah. In. Um, Second year, uh, Ben Ancliffe's house. Probably, yeah. Um, like, on the way, like, obviously, pre-drinks before fiction, playing a little pool, and we were talking about you playing rugby, right? Yeah. And um, back when, obviously, you hadn't got, like, sh- shredded, <laughs> um, I was, you, we were talking about rugby, and asked, I asked you what, you, uh, you told me to guess what position you were, yeah. and I guess prop, you and you were so prop. pissed I was off. pissed. Of course I would be. Look at me. I'm not a prop. Well, no, but... <laughs> I mean, I was a big boy back then. I was, I was taking the... Boy. No, I was, no, I was taking the mickey a little bit, but, um... I was a big boy. But I do remember that conversation, actually. That was another drunken conversation. Yeah, if you do check out the uh, Macca's Summer 2022 transformation, then... International oh. Shades of fi- International Yes, Shades International Shades of Fitness, of fitness yes. Yeah. Did two episodes, three episodes, and then... No, two episodes. you got another one coming out, right? We have we have got two that we've recorded, but um, we're a bit busy right now, you know, in London. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, we have um, we have guests coming, yes. so... We have guests in the future. We have guests in the we very future. We have some guests future. in the future. I can't wait. Okay. Let's uh, talk about us. Me and yeah. you. Where did we meet? Where did we meet? Okay, so when I was in first year, Maccas, you were in third year, correct? Second. No, nope. second, second year. no. When you were in first year, I was in second year. Was I in second year? I was in third year. No, I was in third year because yeah, I did four years. Yes. Yeah, 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 you, were yeah, yeah, yeah. you were in third year. You were in third year. So you were in third year and you were my football captain. I was for two years. So, yeah, for two years straight. And oh, I mean, the first year we barely interacted really apart I mean, from the okay we'll get okay, okay okay we'll get to that but um so the first year mac is my football captain we did a couple of training sessions mm-hmm. i think i texted you about an injury or something well, you, you couldn't play for the friendlies could you the friendly against red ver- reds versus blues because we were yeah. the, we were the reds um and the blues were sort of our best team in swansea big rivals and kids uh kids was captain the blues yes and for that first friendly i couldn't play because i was injured i think that was the first because we played someone else for the friendly as well and we couldn't you couldn't play it there was two like two friendlies there was two friendlies because it was because it was covid uh we came back from covid um it must have sucked for you being in covid like wait, what was oh, that was. like what well, flat parties mate yeah I and guess. you you walk into another flat and all you hear is pop smokes dior come on <laughs> and you get you get one guy on the decks who knows all, and then you get another guy on top of the table who knows every single word uh, and in uh in our flat uh, shout out Momo and Sam if you're listening, and Billy. Uh, we had Kai who knew all the words. You, you know, Kai. I, I know Kai. I know Mac Kai. has knows Kai for very different reasons, <laughs> but um, we had Kai who knew every single word to Dior, and that was his role within the flat. Um, but yeah, more on how how we met. Yeah, we had a we had a few training sessions. We had a few training sessions. Once you got fit. Once hang on. Once I was injury Sorry, free. Sorry. Once you weren't in. Yeah. Once yeah, once I was injury free, Momo, if you're listening, you will remember. We, oh my, so we we've talked about with a certain guest who shall remain nameless for the time being about A uh, and E in Swansea. Yes, uh, Momo and I spent eighteen hours at Morriston Hospital one time. That night or a different time? Different time. Wow. Uh, we're coming back from a night out, and um, obviously we're battered. Bear in mind this is COVID time, so it's about nine forty-five. Yeah, uh, we're coming back from Spoons, um, nine forty-five p.m. By the way, yeah, like. Not basically either. still light outside yeah. uh, we're coming back from spoons absolutely battered um, and Momo trips me up like we're just like walking along stumbling and I thought I'd broken my knee <sighs> um, so we head to Morriston Hostel next day oh god um, and because obviously I wasn't like bleeding from my neck or anything like that <laughs> they don't see you as a yeah. so they say okay wait out um, we're there for 18 hours we get to it and they go yep yeah, it's not broken and they slap two plasters on my knees and we're gone 18 hours for that. All of that for two plasters. To be fair, I've got a story to do with um, Morrison um, a and It's really bad. We don't want to absolutely slate the NHS. but No, it's not the NHS. Wanna... It's just Morrison a and in particular. Okay. I do not like. Okay. So um, I went out. This was first term, first year. I went out to Tutors. Uh, shout out to Tutors. Used to be a club in... Uh, I've never heard On of Singleton Tutors. Campus. Yeah, no, it was, it was the club to be uh, every Friday. Students, only students... Every Friday, Singleton Campus. I went out. Uh, one of my boys, uh, Matt from rugby, when I was I was a rugby fresher at the time. Uh, we were we got we got we got a bit tipsy. I'm a bit tipsy. We got pretty smashed. But he was limping because he'd hurt himself in rugby uh, a few days before. So we went to get on the 
uh, the bus to get back to my place in HSV, Hendrifoland Student Village. No way you I was in Hendri- First time. First time I was in Hendrifoland Student Village. You did well to get out of there. I so, we, we did split. So it was, it was called Split or something like... Basically, we spent the first time in HSV and then we stayed for the rest of it in Bay. Okay. But it meant that we got reduced fees and we got a free bus pass. So I was like... Brilliant. Sorted, Absolutely right? Brilliant. Yeah. Like, yes, but um, I really I've enjoyed it. stories about HSV, but HSV I'll let you like, continue. Yeah. HSV is a cessed pit. <laughs> it is not good. It's not good. It's not good. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're getting on the bus to go back to mine. He's going to stay at mine. This bus driver, and I will always remember this guy's face because he was... The, you always have one dickhead bus driver. Of course. Always. And you always know who it is. And he's always a bastard. Always, always, always. And it was him. And he wouldn't let my mate on the bus. Wouldn't let him on the bus. If we got on that bus, that just then, because he thought Matt was absolutely smashed, right? Matt wasn't even worse. Probably was less drunk than I was. But actually, that's a lie. That's definitely a lie. Because what happens next? <laughs> Here we go. Um, but he doesn't get on, so I get off. I've paid for a bus ticket as well at this point. I'm like, I'm like, I'm pissed. We get a taxi because that's the only way we're going to get home at this point. Bus ain't going to be for a while. Um. We get the taxi back to mine, parks outside the house, and I'm paying the taxi driver. And just out of the corner of my eye, I see Matt just full head first out of the taxi. Big, like a proper big taxi one, not the yeah. small taxis. Big taxi, meant to fit like six people, high off the ground. I just see him full head first. He curbs himself. He falls head first out of the taxi, corner of his head smacks the curb, knocks himself out instantaneously. Bleeding everywhere. It's absolutely mad. I've never told this story before on, on YouTube, and this was the t- most terrifying moment of my life, especially in first Do you year. think you could have died, to be fair? I jump, out the, I, I jump out the taxi. I jump out the taxi. Taxi fucks off, just leaves. Obviously, because, yeah. Because they don't want to, they don't care. And I'm ho- I'm literally holding Matt in my arms like this. I think he's dead. Like, I'm, like, fucking panicking. And, yeah, and... Like, he, come, he comes round. When he comes round, I put him down gently, sprint to my flat, banging on the windows because they're in the kitchen. Like, call a fucking ambulance right now. Yeah, it was mental. Then we, then we were in, me and kids were in Morriston with Matt for hours. And then, but bear, bear in mind, head injury, bro. This guy's head is you be messed up. Yeah. He gets checked, right? When you, everyone gets checked when they first come in. We've come in with an ambulance as well. Right, so probably they've checked him in the ambulance, they've checked him there. That's my only thinking to why we were in there for seven hours. He gets a CT scan after six hours. He gets a brain scan after six hours. That's ridiculous. That's That's ridiculous, right? And then we're waiting for another hour. They say you're fine. As as we're leaving, we've been in there probably, I think it was seven or eight hours at this point. As we're leaving, he throws up. And we're like, me and kids are like, oh. So they have to wait because they're like, we can't let him leave now. We've got to keep an eye on him. We have to wait a bit longer. Legend does buy the taxi back. But yeah, that was, that was a rough night. Yeah, uh, Morriston is just bad. It's bad. I love I love Swansea, but A&E there is. Because well, Singleton Campus, right, doesn't have an A&E. It's a hospital. But it doesn't, it doesn't have, have A&E. Yeah, anything for emergencies, yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Let's talk, um, oh, let's talk about the... First time we got to actually properly know, properly know each other on the house in the, the house Reds party. versus Blues house party. And the one the one caveat we have is that we say Reds versus Blues and about three Blues turned three up. Three Blues so turned up. You told me to just bring along my mates yeah. and wear something blue. Yeah. So I but brought, no, I think I told you to wear red and your mates wear blue. Well, yeah. No, I obviously wore red, yeah. but um, brought along a couple of my flatmates to wear blue, and um, that was that was a heavy night, wasn't it? Was it was a heavy night. That was a very heavy. It was good night. fun though. Basically, we, it was like a. We basically just we plan, Me and kids planned out a bunch of challenges, uh, drinking games and stuff between the teams. Yeah. Obviously, it was three blues and half the reds. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, though, a lot of the people that arrived actually turned into reds players. That was the great thing about that year, because we just signed up everyone. We had what Pat, Isaac, Anthony, and it's funny because we didn't. I didn't know any of them. Oh. Then. I remember that house party and. I remember interacting with well, these that was guys. The first time we met, we met them. Yeah, that's mad. But like now, we're like we're all really close because yes. we're in the winning football team. We'll touch, we'll touch on that in a bit. But um, um, yeah, and we didn't know any of them, but they were there. Yeah, that seems so crazy. To it's me so cause, good because we like spoke a lot that night and got mm. to know each other, but not any of the other guys. But they were there. That's the crazy thing. And uh, we just, to be fair, I knew I knew Pat and Isaac 
a bit before because of um, I played for in a six side tournament with them a couple of times. Did you? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, a couple of times, I think. I mean, once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one occasion. <laughs> that one occasion. You like, yeah. But um, no, yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, that, that that was. I think that was the stepping stone for doing those training sessions where a few people would turn up, and then doing the that house party. That was the stepping stone for us to go from this team that were put together. Well, the thing with that season in Intermural was everyone was put on our team. And, bro, we got put together with what me, you, uh, Ancliffe, Eddie, Jamie. I think that's, I think that's that it. Might have been Fab. It. Fab, obviously, yeah. Um, Cam? Well, Cam, no, he, he Cam's, Cam was our coach. Cam was our coach. Because okay. he has uh, dodgy knees. <laughs> dodgy knees. <laughs> dodgy hey. knees. Yeah. But yeah, that was yeah. That team was like muddled together, and we didn't know each other. Yeah, and then we just we got to know a bunch of people who just turned out to be really, really good at football. Yeah, <laughs> we re- we recruited very well uh, by the way that season, man. I mean, if we're talking about players like um, Anthony, mm-hmm. Tam, Adam, Adam, everyone wanted Adam at uh, trials. Adam was a beast. Mate, he's huge. Do you know what's annoying for us? We were both strikers. We were both strikers. <laughs> we were both strikers. So we were <laughs> we were vying for the same position anyway, and we bring in Adam. Who oh yeah, we had me, part of the we had me, you, and Ancliffe as yeah strikers. strikers. And then we just saw this guy who the thing the thing for me was with me, Cam, and Fab. Uh, Fab was my vice captain. Cam was the coach. We just went. We cannot let any other team have him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was a. We didn't need him. We had three good strikers who w- could still win us the league, yeah. no matter what. Luckily, you could, luckily we got him because you got ill. I was ill for like four weeks. Yeah, so that which was, was mad. Yeah, which is which is actually when we had a lot of games. Yeah, and then uh, you came back. Unfortunately, obviously, Adam. Adam, well, I mean, Adam had you, done well. You couldn't kick me out. You couldn't kick Adam out of his spot. Yeah, for them back in, and Adam was doing exceptionally well. Yeah, he was doing phenomenal. Yeah. Adam is physically a monster. Unbelievable. So it was very difficult to sort of just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you me. Were, you were te- and then this. You, you were technically tank. better. Like your your shot was probably the, one of the best in the team, but Adam was just a, a physical beast. And yeah, in this kind of in that kind of league, that was just so important. Yeah. Yeah, I, no, I agree. But I think one of um, one of the absolute highlights um, that football team had was the cup final, wasn't it? Oh, I should have won it. I should have won us the game. When? When we were 1 0 up. Yeah. I got one on one with the keeper. Fucking Michael comes across the white centre back. If I, I tried to square it to Joe with the outside of my right foot, if I just took it on my left, either shot or actually squared it with my left foot rather than panicking, we would have been 1 2 0. Let's not. Let's not way down on the negatives we won the game we did win the game uh, on penalties sh- on penalties they hit a bicycle kick to equal yeah. 90 <laughs> 90th minute like their they centre sh- back moves to striker hits a bicycle <laughs> and then they draw they draw the game take its penalties yes. that that, that isn't was insane oath. that's not talked about because we, we won, won the game but we won on penalties yeah but <sighs> that was incredible if they'd won that like they uh, fair play to yeah. if they'd won that they'd, their, they'd, their centre yeah. back came up to striker because they were 1-0 down right at the end of the game and he just scores a bicycle kick. Yeah, that was actually incredible. Oh even God. even though, because I was obviously... I, was I mean, I, 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 I dropped. I, I was like, if we haven't worked this hard all season, to, yeah. I saw myself straight off. <laughs> no, you know I saw you literally just brought everyone that you subbed off that was an attacker. Yeah. Just lobbed them all straight yeah. back on and took off all the defenders. I kept you on. I'd been on for 20 minutes, mate. I was like... Yeah, but I kept you on because I knew you could finish penalty. Thank you, yeah. I, I didn't take one in no, the end, but I, I was... I think I was sixth or seventh taken. Yeah, and then Pat... Ah. Uh, Pat's uh, shit right at the end. Oh, oh my! So so so, um, so yeah. So Pat's the final penalty taker to we, win the game for yes. us. Um, Pat's uh, Pat scores. Obviously, keeper dives the wrong way. Pat does the classic he celebration. He points at the keeper. He points at the keeper. He literally runs into the keeper's position and then pretends to do the dive <laughs> like the keeper had done. And then almost like everyone's sprinting, celebrating. There's some fantastic photos on there of us celebrating yeah, yeah, yeah. while Pat while the Pat, Pat's there getting beefed by their keeper <laughs> because he's he <laughs> dummied what he should have done. Brilliant! Oh, like so you could, you wouldn't expect it from just an intramural cup final, would you? No, it was. We had a big crowd as well. Big crowd. Like a few hundred people. Phenomenal! I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Was, it was it was brilliant as well because I got yellow card, didn't I? You did. I was the only and yellow card. A, in the that's match. that picture where you're getting booked and you're just pulling up your socks like you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing photo. <laughs> Such a good but then, picture. Because yeah. um, the entire crowd's obviously like pretty spangled by this point. Yes. Everyone's had a, yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. drinks, so they're they're cheering and 
booing for whatever F- happens. Yeah. There's no there's no favourite team here. And um, I get yellow carded. The entire crowd jeers. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, oh, like what? it was almost surreal, wasn't it? Mm. It was like we actually had a crowd for an intramural cup it final. Phenomenal. It was brilliant. It was phenomenal. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about the podcast. Obviously, you are now an integral member. Oh, if you put you it are, that way. I will, I will say that, I will say that. I mean, you're, you're here, mate. You're in the studio. We are in this We are in a studio. Cool. It's pretty yeah. cool. Um, but let's let's talk about kind of that, how that has kind of come to be. Obviously, you were on that uh, Purple Show, which yeah. was Greenish or Coutinho. And then we got talking. I thought you were very good, obviously. Oh, we got talking and we kind of realized there was a very common ground between us that we we enjoyed. So this is what it was. I wasn't expecting Maccas to be a massive nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was the thing. Um, so this guy was the football captain, and big his drink. podcast, big drinker, and his podcast revolves around the football. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he goes, "Oh yeah, I've been to Comic Con." <laughs> what? Couple, twice. I was like, "He's been to Comic Con twice." I'm like, "What? No." Um, so we get talking. Obviously, you're a massive DC fan, but also massive have a MCU. strong yeah, appreciation yeah, yeah. of the MCU. Well, no, and, for, for me, DC is. I'm a big DC comics fan. But when it comes to movies, MCU are clear. Yeah, it, clear. an important distinction. Clear. Yeah, definitely. And um, obviously, I'm a massive. For those of you that know me, I'm a massive MCU fan. We have the Gradient yes. Show. Um, we talk far too much on the <laughs> Gradient Show about the MCU. Um, also, big Star Wars fans as well. I'd say. Yeah, Ben's a big Star Wars fan. Ben is a massive Star Wars fan. So Ben's our third third member of the podcast, podcast, and he's yeah. a massive Star Wars fan as well. Um, but yeah, so we were just talking, and I, I don't know if you remember it better than I do, but sort of the how it came to be it was just a conversation of it was on the back of the purple show yeah and we're talking and we're going oh, oh no yeah dr strange is coming out yeah we had a whole we had like a whole 30 minute conversation after we'd recorded that purple show and we were just like if we just kept recording we this kept... would have been perfect yeah and then yeah, that was that was how the green show would yeah birth. yeah i think we were just messaging each other we were just like should we just start talking about like yeah comics and stuff mm. yeah and then i created the design for the the logo and the which if you if you have a look there, let me see this here. Beautiful, pretty, pretty yeah, great design to be honest. It's pretty, pretty good. Cool. And uh, wait, we had the whole thing because obviously the theme of the theme of the blue podcast is colours. Yes, but we we're like, what colour would do, we do for Grady? Yeah. What colour do we do for this comic book show? Because it's not football related no. or sport related. And you go, how a gradient? Like it's colour theme. Yeah, but it's not a specific colour. No. And here we are. Yeah. And now he's an official host for the blue podcast. It's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. To be fair, he was a massive help whilst I was abroad this summer because obviously I couldn't, I can record. I literally yeah. couldn't record. I was in different time zones. I was working pretty much every day, all the time. Literally, I think I had a two week break between America and Cos, and, and you recorded was, like one she hawk yeah, and then that was the publishers. And I went back out, but um, yeah, this boy kind of carried the channel on his shoulders for a bit, for a few months. Let's not say too far. I was. There were some you, videos you that the, banged. Couple videos did bang a little I bit. Did bang. Yeah. Shout What's out to Harry, Nick, and Max. <laughs> those boys were very helpful in making those videos bang. But um, no, you'd put all the foundations in place, and mm. it was sort of just look. Here's the formatting of the thumbnails, and yeah. So um, we had the gradient show, and here we are now. Here we are now. Here yes. we are now. Um, we do a question every Sunday. Uh, ask us some questions for the future podcast. We didn't get asked a question. We got asked to do something by Momo. Shout out Momo. Neck a pint. So we've got our drinks here. This is going to be the last thing we do. <sighs> Why are we doing this? It's it's 2.30. All right, cheers, this is for mate. you. This is for our viewers. And Cheers, mate. Cheers. All right. If you guys are still here, thank you very much, guys, for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you want to check us out on other platforms, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and stuff like that. There will be a fun podcast next episode, next week on Wednesday, with a guest. (laughs) She is in the background, if you heard that. Um, But yeah, uh, cheers, Tom. No, thank you for... Thank you for setting this all up, Mac. This has been a lot of fun, yeah. It's been good. And uh, yeah, lots of fun things to come on the Blue Podcast. So do keep tuned. Cheers, guys.